Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a floor map uh, for the predictive survey. So first thing what you have to do is you have to import a floor map and there are uh, another videos I place in uh, YouTube for watching how to do that importing. So today I will cover uh, how we can prepare a map for predictive survey. So first thing that we have to do is we have to do the international level marking. So for an example this one is a uh, typical office layout that is already imported here and I already set the uh, scaling of it. So next step is to do the marking of uh, walls. So uh, I don't have uh, right information for this floor map because I got it from uh, Google. So from this layout, uh, so most of the time you will not get the right information from the partner or from the uh, customer because simply that is not available. So just imagine this one is one floor map you got it for predictive survey and you don't have any information available for uh, this uh, floor map repression. So let me uh, start with some assumptions that I can make it uh, in this floor map. First thing, I have uh, this uh, outside partition uh, in this one and that uh, clearly uh, uh, clearly shows that there is a separation and everything but we don't know which wall type they used. So I'm going to take an assumption that wherever I'm seeing wherever I'm seeing this marking, so this marking line, then a dot, then line, a dot, so this marking I'm going to consider as a glass partition. Then uh, next one is uh, you can see uh, in the lift area, this area you can see as thick walls. So the staircase area you can see it's a thick wall. So most probably that will be a brick wall, 6 inch brick wall. Then you can see this thin wall here. This can be an internal wall and this area again you know that it's a door so let me start doing the marking of this so that we will get better understanding of the uh, of the floor floor map okay so um, so what I'm going to do is let me take the wall types here and you have multiple options in this it's the standard one so wherever I'm seeing uh, that dotted lines that I am going to mark it as a window. It's a glass uh, window uh, with 3 dB lows. So let me draw it here as glass. So this glass is here. It can be a brick wall. I am not sure uh, it's 100 percentage. You have to uh, get this uh, right information from partner. Okay, uh, next one we have the uh, staircase here. Let me select that as a brick wall. So from here I'm going to mark this as brick wall. The, it looks like it's a uh, thick brick wall and after that it's a, a small uh, brick wall. So I'm going to use this one also as a brick wall. Then let me complete this by marking this room. Okay. Then next one is this one. Let me put brick wall here. So brick wall is going to give 10 dB lows uh, in the planning. Okay. Okay, this is completed. And lift area definitely is a brick wall or concrete. Let me okay that is done and this area again it will be a brick wall I'm just assuming this there is no hundred percentage guarantee that this floor map is going to be looking same okay because it's a staircase area so that's the reason I'm going to put it as brick wall because normally in outside uh, section the, uh, no one will use uh, interior wall right uh, okay so uh, this part is done 
and again uh, you have some glass partitions inside the building so this one looks like a glass partition again uh, it's a assumption so you have to bear with me on that okay so this is a glass partition this is again a glass partition then where else I have glass partition okay yeah, I have here then I have it here do we have any glass partitions other than this okay so glass partition is done and next one is interior wall so let me put that interior wall so from here to here okay it's a time consuming one if you have AutoCAD file it can help you in uh, reducing the time taken for this marking because it can automatically mark it for you with the attenuation level uh, marking in AutoCAD import section so you can refer another uh, video I created for AutoCAD importing that can uh, help you uh, in identifying how to do that wall type importing okay so this one is done so let me put this partition that's I agree it's a time consuming one but you have to make sure you are doing proper marking then only you will get uh, actual international level as per the building okay so then everything else is looking like okay so let me put this one as interior wall again now we have glass partition here so let me put that glass partition again Okay, I missed one drywall here. Let me put that drywall. Okay. So I don't want to make it perfect because it's just an example I'm showing here. So I don't want to uh, make it 100% perfect, but let me try to finish whatever we started. Okay, so uh, this is again glass partition and I'm going to put this as brick wall only so there is no point in keeping internal wall there and next one is the door so typical uh, interior office door with 4 dB I'll just set this as 4 dB okay Okay, that is okay so uh, that's it so I don't want to make it perfect and waste time for uh, everyone watching this video so uh, this is done so uh, I know this one is not perfect I'm just giving an example you can make it 100% perfect by spending time on this so once we are done with this next thing is uh, doing the coverage mapping so uh, coverage requirement mapping so for that you have to use this coverage area uh, uh, coverage area option 
then once you select that you will get an option to mark your coverage requirement so you make sure you are using right zoom level so that you are you are going to get the perfect marking so even if this one is not perfect while you are doing the actual survey make sure you are doing the right thing uh, and uh, typical conditions will not have Wi-Fi on uh, restrooms and lift area so I'm going to mark this area as non coverage required non coverage area so this will uh, help you to identify what is coming under coverage and what is not coming under coverage okay so this one then let me put one more okay so uh, that's it that that's the max I am going to do with this floor plan so next one is um, you have to place the start placing a piece and do the uh, uh, coverage requirement everything that we will cover it in next video so I uh, hope uh, this one can help you to do the preparation on the floor maps thank you for watching